guys, welcome to another video for SimonsVideo.com and my name is Simon Tay and today I'm going to do an unboxing and review of a very interesting product that I purchased on Q0010 recently and just received it uh, with uh, pretty good lights. Okay, so basically it's the, the brand name is Zacon Wireless High Intensity uh, Intelligence Brake Light. CRL-101 Okay, as you can see from the labels uh, behind me is a smart brake light 60 lumen brightness output uh, less low mode, high mode, 50% uh, blinking and 100% blinking mode and of course uh, the runtime is 1.8 hours to uh, 6.5 hours and there's a IP65 waterproof ratings uh, Okay, let's open up the box and see what is inside which is behind me right now uh, From here, the boxing is very standard uh, among all kinds of uh, LED lights uh, boxing. Okay, from here you can see the uh, what they call the light heads, uh, and of course this little box here where I'm gonna open it right now. Let's take a look what is inside. Okay, so uh, as you know, there is a couple of things inside. First thing is uh, the mount brackets. The mount bracket um, is a little bit hard to pull out right now, so I'm gonna pull out the rest of the stuff right now. Yeah, the menu instruction menu and the charging cable which is a usb charging cable I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit more later this mounting bracket it is a very very interesting multi bracket as you can see it's a very standard kind of multi bracket for most bicycle uh, but you can actually rotate the 360 degrees and the feeling of it is very steady uh, very rigid and uh, I believe it will last for a long time uh, without breaking and this a uh, charging cable which you use the USB uh, connector and um, let's take a look on the instructions the instructions is actually a piece of paper just like this uh, very interesting and uh, there's uh, a lot of uh, things that you need to take note of first thing first is obviously the uh, instruction on how to connect it first the charging cable the USB charging cable are magnetic that means you can actually um, you know charge this uh, light heat with a magnetic cable uh, but the downside of this is it is not very strong in terms of the magnetic but it does disconnect very easily but if you lose this cable that means that's it, you need to repurchase this light again. Uh, so as I mentioned just now, there's different modes. As you can see when I press it, uh, it does not really change, but it's only when you are moving, then you can see the different modes. So when you actually detect some kind of motion, you can see that it's in 50% uh, blinking or 100% blinking, or it is a low light, uh, low mode or high mode. So when it is zero motion, you'll go to the highest, brightness in terms of intensity so instead of a smart brake light that will uh, detect deceleration of speed it will detect zero motion that means if there's no motion at all you'll go to the brightest setting uh, like what, what you're seeing right now um, but the downside is uh, you know a bicycle is always moving either left or right or you know things like that uh, so if you can remain still uh, with zero motion, then you'll go to the high intensity brake light. Then it's not really smart at all. Personally, I, I do not feel that it is smart at all. I feel the developer or the maker of this uh, wireless brake light should detect deceleration. As you can see from here, it is high brightness. Uh, there's a little bit of motion. It will go to the blinking mode or the, 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 the four different modes that is available. Um, but as you can see when I'm riding the unicycle or even if I just step on it, uh, it will go to the blinking mode regardless if I slow down right now, um, it will not go to the brightness mode. Uh, the, the, the reason why is because uh, the electric unicycle itself have a gyro that is rotating inside the unicycle. So the, the, there is no chance of this wireless brake light to have a zero motion uh, the period even if you slow down it will still be uh, not breaking at all. So I hope the developer will consider creating uh, a really a deceleration detection. Well, basically that's it for this video and I really hope you like this video. Of course, do remember to like, comment, share and subscribe, right? So thank you very much for watching Simon's video. Have a nice day. See ya, bye-bye.